people sometimes say, well, why focus on entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs aren't special. I mean, like, why affirm the calling of entrepreneurs? Because we should affirm the calling of everybody. And I would say, yes, that's true. I mean, entrepreneurs aren't special. They're just people like everybody else, uh, but they have this unique experience. Entrepreneurs are defined by their ability to read the needs in the marketplace. At the core is innovation. How do you actually create wealth? Like, how do you actually create, it sounds like creating something from nothing, but in fact, that's how our society works. That's why people are rewarded because they actually look at what's a big need in the marketplace and they actually address it. So if you look at how Western society has developed in the last hundred years, how the standards of living have increased, that's because people are rewarded for innovation. We can come up with new, creative, different ideas. A lot of things that entrepreneurs come up with at first are actually unconventional and unaccepted. Then eventually it becomes mainstream and everybody says, oh yeah, of course I could have done that too. The reality is they wouldn't have. It took somebody with the opportunity obsession to actually recognize that and then take the risk to act on it. I think they're actually the business heroes. Who is going to take the lead? They're in a sense like the pioneers. And sometimes we say the pioneer is the guy with the arrows in his back. They're taking the risk of complete abject failure and in some ways humiliation and all the I told you so's. Maybe you went bankrupt. Well, does that mean God wasn't real? God let you down? Most entrepreneurs feel isolated, alone. Uh, they, don't feel, they feel like they don't have people to relate to. So what we want to say to entrepreneurs and also say to church leaders is innovation and creativity that is sort of operating outside the church context is in fact something that is God-ordained, God-inspired. So for me, one of the important things that we talk about in the course is I think a proper theological foundation for understanding entrepreneurship is critical to a vibrant faith. So that you can talk about it quite naturally, feel comfortable that you've got a good theological grounding, and actually view the marketplace as, a, as the environment within which you work out your faith. Mm -hmm.